Alright guys, I know it's been a while since I posted, but it's 4.6 Savage. Now today, I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Now, lately, I've been sick, so I've had a uh, lot of congestion issues and haven't been really working. I finally got the converter back from Roadrunner. Um, they said there was nothing wrong with the converter. Um, it was within their spec. But when I had pulled it out and found I had destroyed another transmission pump, I had found that the pump gear would not fit on the um, on their converter. I checked it with my OEM converter, which was, it's one of these two gears, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. This one's the gear out of my V6 transmission, and it did not fit on but it fits on just fine on the OEME OEM converter and that was the only issue I had so I sent it back to them they put a new hub on it now I put the gear on again and it would would not drop on to the converter like that one would but I ordered a new pump gear for the pump and it dropped on just fine. So the new pump gear has a a thinner tolerance or, you know, less tolerant, more tolerance than the V6 gear has, which is okay. So right now the engine is in, or the transmission is in. Pump's been reassembled. The torque converter has been seated. Transmission is in and mounted. Drive shaft's in, starter's in, thing, all that's done. That being said... Um, I still have to run exhaust. I still have to mount the torque converter to the engine. You know, I have to get the bolts. I have to, I'm going to triple check. I'm going to take measurements. I'm going to make sure this converter works this time. Uh, if it does, great. If it doesn't, the stock converter is going back in. Uh, I'm going to use the V6 gears and I'm going to throw the stock converter in because I need the car up. Um, that being said, everything's going good. I'm sorry I haven't been posting lately. Also, I'm sorry about that I haven't gotten part two of the OBD series out. I'm working on it. I've just been sick and <coughs> <coughs> there's a lot of, um, research I got to go through to make sure you all can understand, um, what I'm talking about and, and learn from the thing. It's, it's going to be a nice informative episode, um. Make sure you tell your friends. Make sure, you know, you understand. Um, and really, now, don't go thinking just because you know these that you know how to tune. That's not why I'm doing this. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I, myself, do not know how to tune professionally. I know how to tune off of my system. I know how to tune my car because I know my car. I've learned off of it. Thank I can't go and tune somebody else's vehicle and be like, oh, you know, this is what's wrong with it. But I know the basics. So if something happens, you know, I can look at the data or I can look at something and I can go, oh, well, that's what happened with this. This is what happened with that. You know, this is doing this. This is abnormal. You know, change this around. Um, currently, though, uh, I've been doing a lot of work on... Uh, the Cougar, and there will be another video coming up on that explaining what all has to be done with that. And um, uh, I'm hoping to get this running within the next couple of days and then get my other video of um, the OBD2 out. I have to do a little bit more research before that video is ready and uh, get that one done. Um, but thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I've noticed uh, a lot of you have been watching and, you know, I'm very happy that you all are supporting me. Um, but that's all for this video. Remember, like and subscribe and be savage.